Bless up my viewers, welcome back to the channel. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, do remember to hit the bell whenever you leave a subscription on the channel. So, if you are new here, please leave a like. BODY of Exavator, operator found in St. Elizabeth. The BODY of an Exavator, operator Peter Morgan, was found a short while ago after an exclusive search of a mall pit. Morgan was covered by boulders during a freak accident at Exton near Junction in the St. Elizabeth. On Saturday, he was said to be the operator of the heavy equipment when boulders hit the excavator and covered him. The news understand that at about 7.53 p.m. on Sunday, a search team found the operator. The team comprised the police and operator firefighters and Morgan's family spent all day Sunday searching the area. More on that to come. <coughs> Boy, I tell you, them little freak accident and my viewers is really scary more while. So, just do remember if you connect to continue like, share, and subscribe. Enough sugar being produced to satisfy Christmas demand, say. With the demand of sugar expected to increase over the weeks to come, leading into the yielded season, the country is being assured that there is enough sugar in store to satisfy local demand. The disclosure was made by Secretary Manager of All Island Jamaica Cane Farmers Association, Nigel Myer, speaking with reports. reporters last week. He said there is enough sugar being produced by the island. Two sugar factories at Worthy Park Eastern St. Catherine form sugar factory in Westmoreland. Mary understand that both of them have sufficient capacity to produce Jamaica demand for brown sugar and currently we have produced enough sugar this crop to satisfy the demand through the Christmas season. So there is no need for importation or worry about a shortage of sugar. In the Christmas season, we have enough sugar in stores to satisfy any demand based on the knowledge he stated. While other sectors of agriculture suffered some impact from the COVID-19 pandemic, Mary said the sugar producer production industry did not suffer any effects at all. He pointed out that the industry operates throughout the year and protocols were followed to prevent infection of the respiratory illness among the workers. The factory operator within a specific window of time so you have people working in the fields, people working in the factory and transportation system. So there is good separation. We have protocols in place to control movements among those different segments of the industry. And so we are really didn't eat hard with the pandemic, said Mr. Mary. Yeah, man, my viewers, we like that. We like that, say, you don't know sugar available. Car. You don't know sugar or something. We mix a lot of juice and porridges and etc. St. Elizabeth JP gets bail on rape rap involving female student. A St. Elizabeth J Justice of the Peace JP has been granted bail on charge of abduction involving a female high school student in the parish. Kirkcross, a resident of Jointwood in the parish, is also charged with the indecent assault stemming from the incident which occurred in September. He was... Yeah, man, my viewers, right now, you know, all JP are the wrong things right now. Pastor do it, JP do it, police taxi man. But I'm a viewer as well telling the same thing get spooky and spooky every day. But right now, my viewers, last but not least, gunmen shoot up candlelight vigil. Explosions reportedly in core across section of West Kingston Police Division last night. Climaxing with two people nursing wounds after our men shoot up a candlelight. Spend casing, broken bottles, abandoned footwear at the scene told the tale of the attack which occurred 
and Lincoln Avenue and Texan Road, four-way intersection. Reports up to the press time are that two people were injured in the drive-by attack which occurred just before 8 p.m. Residents said the candlelight was being held for a security guard from a community who was found deceased sometime last week. Reports are that the gunmen fired in indiscreetly at the crowd. Police and military personnel converge on the scene, seemingly frustrated with the level of violence plunging Lincoln Avenue over the past days. When our news team arrived at the scene, a policeman was venting on his personal cell phone to colleagues. A shooting go on a Lincoln Road and Texan Lane, but me not put it over the police radio, the officer said. In this course, boy, I'm a viewer as a no year alone officer. And the whole away, trust me, me, we're tired of it now. Every day is another shooting. We're tired of it, my viewers.